actually call you when they say they will, and that they will be back on time. A number of years ago, my parents wanted to go to Fur Fright in Connecticut. I had gone with them before. That particular year, I could not go because I was going to be on the West Coast. So I said to my parents, we cannot go to Fur Fright this year. And they said, well, what do you mean we, white man? Huh. <laughs> I said, well, well we, you're not going. And they said, why the hell not? I said, because I won't go. And they said, so? We're old enough, we can go to Fur Fright. I said, you are not old enough. <laughs> I am not sending you to a convention on your own without somebody to watch out for you. And they were insistent they were going to go anyway, and they said I couldn't stop them. So I got in touch with Giza. And I said, Giza, listen to me very carefully. My parents are going to be at Fur Fright unchaperoned this year. I am charging you with the solemn task of keeping an eye on them, especially my mom. Make sure they behave, make sure they get back to the room on time, and make sure they don't go to the bar and hang out, all right? You know, I want this to be a safe weekend of fun for a mature couple. Well, I was on the West Coast, and at approximately 11 p.m. West Coast time, which would have been 2 a.m. in Connecticut, my cell phone rang. And I was very upset because when my cell phone rang, it said, Mom, uh-oh. I was immediately terrified. I was wondering, what the heck? Is it, is it a problem, a medical emergency? Has, has one of them fallen? And I flipped open the phone, and I listened, and I heard the unmistakable sound of a party, and my mother giggling. I said, Mom, 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 Mother, hello. And finally the giggle got louder, so I knew she had the phone to her ear, and I said, You listen to me! You put Giza on right now! And a moment later I heard, Hello? I said, Giza, you were supposed to be keeping an eye on my mother! He said, I'm keeping an eye on her, she is right in front of me. <laughs> And I said, you son of a bitch, you listen to me right now, and you listen good. This is a direct order from me to you. You are to get my mother out of that room, get her out of that room, take her down to her room, make sure she gets into her room, post a security guard outside the door, do not let her out until morning. Do you understand me? Giza. Giza! A moment later, another voice came on, said, hello. I said, who the hell is this? The voice said, it's Ferp. I said, Ferp, where the hell's Giza? He passed out. <laughs> and every time I tell this story, it makes my blood boil, especially when they're sitting there smirking at me, because you trust them. You want them to do the right thing. You trust them to be mature, to make adult decisions when you're not there. And what do they do? They go around. They stay out to all hours. They throw your heart on the ground and trample all over it. I hope you have kids who act just like you. <laughs>